Hi everyone, welcome little angels. I missed you. Hope you missed me too. Welcome, it's your teacher again, Anonsieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. We've just been talking about numbers and we are still talking about numbers. Now we just want to count in ones. Counting items in one, we can count the balls in our classroom, we can count the ball. Like for example, how many black rulers do we have? How many chalk rulers do we have? It's only one. Uh-huh. What else? How many whiteboard duster do we have? It's only one. Uh-huh. How many chairs do we have in our class? How many chairs? No, let me ask. How many yellow chairs do we have in our class? We talked about colors. So we have one chair, and this one is the second chair. Uh-huh. What else? What else? What else? How many maids are there in our class? Look at our shop corner. This is our nature corner. Uh -huh. We have one, two, three. Uh -huh. So, how many eyes do you have? You and your friend. How many eyes do you have? Uh -huh. Count one, two. We are talking about these two friends here. Look at them. One, two, three. Oh, so they also have four eyes. So when you're counting numbers in ones, you just count the numbers the way they're supposed to be counted. For example, I'll start here with number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So when you're supposed to count numbers in ten, we are just counting the numbers the way they are. So if the teacher says, Count 1 to 10. Count 1 to 10. I was able to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And sometimes the teacher can draw a block like this and divide it the way I divided the game. We were playing with my friend Janet. And we see the numbers, and the teacher will still write for you. Write for me these numbers from number 1 to 10. I still write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The block can again be changed, and it now slips on the floor like this. It is still the same block. So, one, I'll still draw the same. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, someone comes and during the time we are out for break, rubs numbers here. Rub some numbers here. And he comes in the block again and he rubs some other numbers. He comes again on the flats, rubs other numbers. So when I come back, I find there are some numbers missing in the blocks. And I ask, what happened? It, it was Janet who rubbed. It was Jan who rubbed. It was John. I tell them, no. Okay. That's very nice because you have given yourself some assignment. Now, because you are supposed to write these numbers in our books, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here some dashes so that you fill in what numbers were missing are missing in this chart. So we are gonna write there like that some dashes, and I say, now can you start filling in in your books the missing numbers in this block, and they will be there struggling. Now you see you filled it, and then Jen tells them, check on the teacher's numbers up there. Can you see them? <laughs> The whole class jumps to my numbers and he says, one. So the missing number here is two. Then he goes, three is there. So the missing number here is four. Then he goes there, five, six. The missing number here is seven. Then he says, teacher, I've finished block number one. I told you, wow, so fast. What did you do? I will not tell you what, you do, what I did. But do you know, Jen told me what to do. What did Jen tell you to do? told me to check on your numbers. So you have been looking at my numbers. I now know those people who copy my work. Ah, but that is very clever of you. you. Imagine you thought 
of that thing very fast and you are able to finish your work very well. So the others did the same and they finished their work as it was supposed to be done. So anytime I'm told to count numbers in ones, I'm able to follow the numbers the way I learned them in class. And you see, there is the flow. Once you write the upper numbers like this, you are able to use these upper numbers to fill in the missing numbers in the blocks, whether the block is given vertically, horizontally, or even diagonally. Even if I'm given in a wheel of a circle where I'm supposed to rotate the numbers, I'll be able to know number one is here, followed by number two, followed by number three, followed by number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they are following each other back to back, back to back, without skipping any number. And all the people in my class are now able to write number one up to ten. That is something that I feel like I have achieved it and I'm happy for it. And for those who are still struggling, kindly tune in here and you'll never have a problem writing your numbers one to ten. That is all for today. Thank you very much and I wish you a happy, happy evening. <laughs>